said it a hundred times and I guess I'll just have to keep on saying it. Your practical problem, the event that happens in your life does not cause your emotion. You do. You cause the emotion. You do that by taking the event, filtering it through your basic belief system, and you come up with an emotional consequence. Happens every time. Most of you will get on my program and complain. My 14-year-old is not listening to me. What do I do? He's not listening to me. The first thing you have to realize out of two things is, A, would you even listen to yourself? Why would he listen to you if you don't even listen to yourself? You're still shoving snacks in your mouth. You're still refusing to go to the gym. You still haven't stopped drinking. You still haven't quit yelling at your family. And you still haven't started doing the things that you promised them that you would do this time. The changes that you would make. If you don't listen to you, why would any of the rest of us listen to you? Problem one. Problem two. Maybe you are starting to get your things straightened out. Maybe you are doing the things that you're supposed to do. Never forget that if you know what you're supposed to be doing and you still don't do it, the debt is far worse. The mental and emotional debt are far worse than if you'd ever just not known. If you know what you should be doing and you're not doing it, the debt is far worse. Do what you're supposed to do. Follow through with what you said you'd follow through with. Make the changes you said that you'd make. If you need help, that's what we're here for. Maybe you're doing some of that. However, you're still angry. You're still pissed. You're still livid that that kid won't listen to you. First of all, who says that he has to? Uh, knocking over some sacred cows there. Well, I'm his dad. He has to listen to me. Does he? You don't listen to you, first of all. Second of all, that's a pretty stupid demand. He absolutely has to, must, shall, under any circumstances, must do exactly what I say. But I can prove you wrong. But he hasn't yet. I bet you have just as many examples that he doesn't listen to you as that he does. <clears throat> now, we're not saying you just stop parenting your kids and let people run all over you. Quit with that mess. But if you think for one second that that kid causes your anger, you're a fool. The activating event, the things that happen, is the kid not listening. Yes, that's not good. If I can change it, I'll change it. But it has nothing to do with what you decide is anger. Yes, the things that happen to us impact us. Yes, things happen to us. Yes, there are victims of crime. Yes, there are victims of things. But if you think for one second that what that 14-year-old kid does makes you angry, then you're the victim. You're the one blaming everybody else for your attitude. You're the one blaming everybody else for your emotion. A 14-year-old making you mad. Give me a break. I used to be there, and then I learned there's no such thing. Activating events cannot cause your emotional consequences. You're filtering that event through your belief, and your belief is irrational. It's irrational to think that you can actually put shall or must or have to in him listening to you. Of course I want him to. Of course I wish he will. Of course I have the desire to make him listen, and I'm going to do the things that I need to do to make the right decisions so that I get the right outcome. But we're not talking about the outcome. We're talking about your outcome, angry person. We're talking about you saying, that kid makes me angry. It makes me so angry when people won't listen to me. No, it doesn't. You make yourself angry. I don't think you should be a pushover and not get the things that you want. I don't think you should be a pushover and be treated poorly, 14-year-old or any age. But you blaming the kid for your anger, you're the problem. The event is him not listening. Your belief, while irrational, is that he has to. And now I've labeled him as a terrible person. And now my emotional consequence is that I'm angry. What if just for a second you got out of your own way? What if just for a second you quit playing the victim of this 14-year-old? What if just for a second you quit being a victim of thinking that your life must be easy and carefree and you must get what you want. Good luck proving that one. I still haven't figured it out yet. What if just for a second you decide, I want him to listen. I desire him to listen. I wish he would listen. Because then when he doesn't, you're frustrated. You're annoyed. You're disappointed. You're remorseful. You're upset. So go be that. Big deal. Those are healthy 
They're still negative. Go be disappointed. Go be frustrated. But when you stick your irrational anger in there, your irrational belief that he must listen to you and now he's not, so I'm angry. How's that working for you? How's that working for you? Step one, would you listen to you? Are you doing the things that you're supposed to do? Can I get on a camera call with you and you turn your camera around and it looked like you're taking care of your house? You're taking care of your people? Are you taking care of yourself? I wouldn't listen to you either. And second of all, do you have your emotions under control? Stop blaming a kid for your anger. Weak. Victim. What they do is not good. It impacts us. But you are filtering that through your demand that he must listen. Prove it. Prove he has to listen. Because he's currently not. And that doesn't make it okay. But as soon as I turn to anger, the discussion is over. How do I know it's over? Maybe you yell at him. Maybe you lose your cool. Maybe you punch a hole in the wall again. Maybe you drive off mad. And here's how I know that you know you messed up. I don't have to tell you. 30 minutes later, you're sitting there with your head in your hands thinking, did it again. Screwed it all up. Still screwing up my family. Still can't stay calm. Still messing up vacations. Still messing up home life. Would you listen to you? Are you a victim of somebody not listening to you? Are you a victim of an activating event? Are you a victim of something that impacts you? It's your decision. Don't be fake happy. Don't be okay with minimal. Don't be okay with them not listening. Stop demanding. Stop making irrational demands. You cannot prove what must happen. He's not a disrespectful person. I wouldn't listen to you either. Keep yelling at him. No wonder he gets mad. You want some help with that? Go to my website, theangryvikingtherapist.com. Sign up for one of the tiers. Get this kind of information daily. Get this kind of talk daily. Straighten your stuff out. Quit letting everybody around you down. There is a way. Stop going to those that will just pat you on the back and tell you it's going to be fine and give you three cool exercises to do. You have to change your philosophy. You have to change your beliefs. I'll show you the way, but you're going to have to do the work. I'm ready. Are you ready to change?